Hey, how you guys doing? Damn, it's kind of dark over here. Ugh, I think I can fix this. No, not so much. Anyways, uh, most of you guys already know, energy is interchangeable. When I do the readings, I focus on who needs to hear the messages the most, and I do it for the highest healing. So, most of you that watch this know that I focus it on healing whatever you're going through right now or deeper issues. So, if it's not for you, then sorry, but that's what I do. Um, now, for some of you, uh, what they're showing here is some of you might be either you just found out you're pregnant or you're trying to become pregnant and it looks like that's going to be a new journey for you guys. And for others of you, it's important for you to try to do some meditation, try to do some chanting, things that will help you get grounded. And they want you to really focus on being grateful, showing gratitude, because when you're grateful, it shifts your energy and it shifts your focus to more positive things and it aligns you with your higher self. So if we say we're on different timelines when we focus on our highest self, then we align with our higher timeline. So that means we get the nicer things, the better life, the easier life, the more pleasurable things as opposed to focusing on the negative lower timelines, okay? So they want you to pay attention to the feelings that you're having because some of you are not, you're ignoring your feelings. <laughs> um, and you know, I get it. We all don't want to listen to our feelings because... Sometimes they're not what we want to feel and they're shitty feelings, but you have to understand that what you're feeling is serving a purpose, okay? And if some of you have been feeling nauseous or tender breasts or you're just like, I don't know what's going on, then you're probably pregnant, so you might want to go get that checked out. <laughs> you don't want to just keep going, ignoring the symptoms, okay? Especially if you've been sleeping and eating a lot more. Hi, Khaled. How are you? Now... For the others of you that need to pay attention to your feelings, it's because you're in a situation where you don't belong. Now, they're asking you to not jump to conclusions. If you're dealing with somebody or you dealt with someone in the past and you already uh, made assumptions or you're making assumptions about somebody and you don't really know the full story or you haven't taken the time out to hear somebody else's side of the story... However which way it goes for you, understand that there's always more than your side of the story and the other person's side of the story, okay? There's my side, their side, and the truth, okay? Because everybody takes their own perspective and they're like, okay, well, this is my version of what happened and that's their version. We all operate from our own perspectives. Hi, Agnel, how are you? So... Spirit's asking you to look deeper into the situation. So if somebody hurt you or in your perspective, you took it as somebody disrespected you or they did something to you that you just feel is unforgivable. Spirit's asking you to look further into that situation, you know, because sometimes, like I said, people project pain. People do things out of hurt and it's not so much a you thing. It's so much of they're dealing with their own shit or they don't know how to deal with it. So they just lash out. And I say a lot of this as the same, the way I talk about kids. Hi, Evanson. How are you? Hi, Julian. So, you know, I compare adults to children because sometimes we grow physically, but mentally and emotionally, we still respond like we're teenagers. You know, they don't really teach you how to respond emotionally correct or mentally, you know, and that's how you know, and especially in the hood, a lot of us resort to anger and violence, which is probably the lowest vibration we can be on. So it's trying to get people out of that vibration and trying to see things from another perspective and see things differently and understand everything doesn't always have to be hostility and anger, okay? But whatever situation you're dealing with, please look deeper into it, okay? Give the other person an opportunity to explain themselves or to clarify things if you're not sure. If you've heard rumors, you know, talk to whoever that is. Give the person an opportunity to say their piece before you start making assumptions or jumping to conclusions about people, okay? Because there's someone that's kind of stuck in the, the past and they're like clinging to whatever happened or whoever some they're dealing with, okay? It's like something from the past they're still holding on to. And maybe your perspective is a little bit off in how you remember things. You know, maybe you remember it as a victim, like they did this to me, instead of acknowledging and being accountable for the part that you played in the situation. 
because once you take accountability for your actions, it's also easier to understand the other person's response to you because maybe you guys were both acting at a lower vibration. I can, oh, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Um, so just pay attention to that because some people do cling to the past and then that's what's keeping them in a mental state of uh, like discord. They can't wrap their head around what it is that they need to do because emotionally it's like you're feels like you're getting pulled somewhere. But your ego mental space is not allowing you to go there because you're still so focused on whatever conclusions you've jumped to or whatever it is that you've been set on, whatever you think about this individual. So you have to go deeper into this because they're showing right now whatever it is that you're keeping suppressed. If you have feelings for this person and you feel like it'll be a blow to your ego if people see you with this individual, understand that your life is your life. <laughs> what everybody else thinks of you is fucking irrelevant because they're not living your life and you're the only one that's going to be miserable if you keep worrying about what everybody else thinks about your decisions, okay? Because they're not going to be with that person and if this is your person for forever, you're really going to fuck it away because of what people think. Those people don't pay your bills. At least I don't think they do. But if you're dealing with somebody like this or you're that person, you have to be patient in this situation because they're showing me that this is a uh, twin flame situation, a true partnership situation. So this is something that's going to take time to get out of because this person has to get out of that ego space, okay? And for some of you, this is uh, either Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your charts or it's a Gemini or you also have Gemini in your charts. Excuse me. However, that's resonating for you, okay? But... There's someone who is in a situation right now where it looks like they're very, they're dependent. And for some of you, you may have gotten married and it was very irresponsible because it wasn't, um, it wasn't something you did out of love. It was just something that you decided I'm going to just hop, go do this because it fulfills, uh, the status quo. You know, I had financially I'm good or it makes me look good on paper or whatever the fuck it is. Whatever it is, it caused this situation to become a codependent situation. And because you acted out of fear, anger, whatever it was that caused you to move into this, now they're self-medicating because they're so disconnected from who they truly are and what they're supposed to be doing. So when you're medicating yourself, you're self-medicating, it's because your soul is not in agreement with what you have going on. It's not in agreement with what you did or any combination. Okay, so you have to let this go. You can't keep on smoking and drinking and doing all of this shit and expecting your life to get better because your soul is telling you you don't belong there and you're doing something that does not serve you and instead of acknowledging that, you're just pushing it down and like, oh, if I just keep drinking or if I keep smoking or if I keep having sex or eating, whatever the fuck, then the feelings are going to go away. They're never going to go away because you're ignoring them. Stop ignoring it and go to what you're meant to be going towards, all right? They're showing you have to refocus your energy to whatever the hell it's going towards right now. All right, because they're showing that once you refocus, you're getting signs in the 5D. All right, and the 5D, it shows that you've already made a commitment with whoever this person is. Like you're already committed to this person. In this time, <clears throat> in this timeline, like in right now, you're committed to them, but it's only in the 5D. And in order to bring it down, into the 3D, you have to sober up and pay attention to what's happening, okay? You have to let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to. So again, if somebody hurt you, if somebody did something to you, you have to release that and allow for conversation to happen, okay? Because they're showing right now, there's something that's going on that's going to be really unexpected. Um, and it looks like someone's been avoiding this situation or has been cut off, is just really lost in everything that's happening with their day-to-day -day life. They're just kind of going and going and going and going. So whatever is happening right now, it's something that's going to catch you off guard or maybe somebody's going to become single and it's going to be really surprising as to how it happens. But understand that all of this that you're going through right now and everything that you've gone through, it's coming to an end, okay? So don't feel like it's going to last forever and you're going to be in this state of, uh, of in a state of dis-ease, okay? Because you're not... You have to trust the sparks that you're getting because right now they're saying that some of you are writers. <clears throat> so, and you're meant to inspire other people and enlighten other people with your knowledge, your wisdom, with what it is that you've gone through in your life. So, 
understand everything is temporary and again we got capricorn again so if this is you you know that's that's what's good with you right now now some of you you either are musicians or you have some listening to music and others of you may be doing like uh the drumming circle hey honey <clears throat> You have uh, either you do drumming circle or some type of sound healing or you need some type of sound healing, which is beneficial. OK, so if you're able to access that, do that. I know YouTube has some um, great things on there that provide either drumming or singing bowls. So work towards that. OK, and others of you just might like listening to music and get the messages that you need from there. So understand that whatever it is you're going through right now is part of your de your destiny. This is something that was destined to happen, okay? And like I said, everything that happens that's not what you wanted or you feel like it's shitty, it serves a higher purpose, okay? It's for your highest good because there's something you needed to learn and take out of that situation. Oh, I'm sorry, Khaled. I'm on here. I try to be on here every day. Sometimes it works out, other times not so much. <laughs> like, it really depends on my life, because some days are crazy as hell. Um, but they're showing that you're going to start having good fortune, and it's going to start increasing, but that's going to start happening when you start paying attention to spirit. The more you resist it, the more tower moments you're going to have, and the more blockages you're creating in your own life. Okay, you have to release these things that are not meant for you and stop holding on to the past because the past is done and it's gone. There's nothing you can do to get it back and there's nothing you can do to change it. You know, you have to take accountability, accept what happened and move forward. All right. And again, they want you to quiet your mind and get out of your head because life is supposed to be fun. All right. Life isn't supposed to be stressful. You're not supposed to be going through all of this hectic and chaotic shit all right you need to rest and you need to have fun and enjoy life because that's the purpose of it okay you have to be open-minded to what's being presented to you okay and as long as you're being shut down you're not enjoying your life to the fullest you're not enjoying anything that's happening here all right so pay attention to that and try when you're dealing with situations or people, see what's connecting you guys instead of what's separating you. You know, it's easy for us to look at people and situations and be like, well, I don't like them because of this or I don't like them because of that. And they did this and they did. It's easy for us to do that. Find things that connect you to this individual or to the situation that you're like, oh, you know what? We do have this in common. And, you know, we do feel like this about that or whatever it is. Try to find the connecting things and not the things that separate you. Okay, because they want you to follow your dreams. And for some of you, it is music. And if that is your passion, then please pursue it and be authentically you in doing so. Because when you're authentically you, then things seem to work out better. But if you're trying to be like everybody else, it's a higher chance that you're not going to be successful because that's not the path that's meant for you. Okay, so again, they're saying to follow your dreams because there is a. <laughs> It's like a ma it's, they're showing me it's like a door, just a magical way that's a presenting itself for you, okay? And they want you to take the steps you're being guided to take and go into what you don't know, go into the unknown and step boldly without looking back. They want you to continue on your path and go forward without focusing on what's already happened in the past. And for you to do this, you have to have full trust in everything that's going on and you it's almost like when you go skydiving, you know, you have to have complete faith in that your parachute is packed right and everything's good. And when you jump out of that plane, there's nothing. It's you and the parachute and that's it. You know, you're hoping to God everything works well and that's all you got. You have to have that type of faith right now because they want you to focus on the success that you want to bring in. Okay, they want you to avoid giving in to the negative self-talk they want you to avoid giving in to the temptation of the negative behavior you know the one that we give into all the time where it's like oh it's easy for me to be angry it's easy for me to curse somebody out or punch somebody in the face it's easy to give in to those temptations to react the way we've been conditioned to react our whole lives okay you have to stop reacting in those negative ways okay and they don't want you to resist what is and when I say don't resist what is, it's because what's happening right now in your life is meant to happen the way it's happening, okay? It's not for any other purpose. It's not for anything. It's not, oh, it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like that. No, it is the way it is because there's a reason. 
it's meant to be this way. It's a lesson you need to learn. It's a lesson the other person needs to learn. It's serving a purpose, okay? So please, don't feel like it's something wrong because there's nothing wrong with it, okay? When The more you resist what actually is happening, then you're creating blockages to your blessings. You're, you're creating blockages to getting what you really want and where you're meant to be going, okay? So make sure you're not resisting and decide what it is right now that you want to be different in your life. Okay, and when I... Yes, baby. Huh? Go get one. So you have to decide what it is that you want to be different in your life, okay? And when I say be you know, decide. Because some of you are saying yes, 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 when you need to be saying no, 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 no. So you need to decide right now, like... This is how my life is going. What is it that I want to be different at this moment in time? All right. And others of you, you need to make a vision board. And if you don't know what a vision board is, it's basically you're creating a picture of what you want to happen. So if you have a magazine or you can draw, you know, say, okay, I want the house. I want this job. I want a family. I want this. I want that. Whatever it is. And you put it up on the vision board because when you see it all the time, your subconscious is registering this and they're trying to bring that into your life. They're trying to manifest it for you. So when you're always put it somewhere where obviously you're going to look at it every day, you know, sorry, my baby here. So make a vision board because that's going to help be helpful to you for some of um, Leo and Virgo is coming up now. So if those signs resonate with you or you're dealing with somebody with the, that in their placements. Now, there's a commitment that you guys need to reconsider, all right? Understand you have the right to change your mind. I say this a lot because just because you may say yes today, it could be no tomorrow. Just because you're married to them, you can be like, I'm ready for a divorce. You know, it's okay to change your mind. Don't feel like you're forced to be somewhere. You always have the choice. You always have free will. Now, there are some people that are more forceful and more manipula manipulative into keeping you in a place that you don't belong. But that is their own ego. That is their own insecurities. That is their own fears of releasing the situation, okay? You always have the choice to move on. So don't be afraid of making that choice. And understand, when you have certain emotions or certain moods around people, those are indicators of your emotions, okay? Those are like your set points, like, oh, when I get pissed off at somebody or there's somebody around that always brings out that nasty attitude, why do you think they're bringing out the nasty side of you all the time, okay? There's people that bring out the good side of you. So those are the people you want to be around, the people that bring out the good side of you. You don't want to be around the toxic, low vibrational people, okay? Because... <clears throat> you start becoming, it's more habitual because you're just around the same person and it's just like, ugh, this person makes me sick and then you change your whole attitude and you're in a bad mood all day when if you're not around this person, you're happy and everything's peachy. So this is a time where it's like learning. You have to learn yourself and you have to be able to teach others what your boundaries are and how you expect to be treated and what you want to happen because everybody is not the same. And if you approach everyone as if they are the same, then you're going to create problems because we're all different and we all have different standards and we have different boundaries and different expectations. So you have to teach people how to respect you and what you want and what you don't want, okay? And some of you need to embrace that you have the power within you to create and manifest what it is that you want um some of you are readers others of you do uh spell work so you have the ability to see what's happening very clearly right now okay so it's not like you're not aware they're showing that you are fully aware but you need to understand that you can say no to any and every situation baby i need you to get down okay mm. so just decide what it is that you want and go towards that okay whatever it is that you want to make different make it different because they're showing that some of you are sitting in like this place of sorrow and this place of pittiness and like laziness and not wanting to move and not wanting to do anything and they need you to be in the moment because some of you are not living from one moment to the next you're living in the past and you keep comparing and as long as you're comparing you're never going to be happy okay 
You're never going to be happy and understand that no situation is ever going to be identical or match or be similar, you know, because you're like, oh, I want this because it's perfect or you had a situation that was perfect. You're not going to get that again. You only have that again when you allow the situation to be what it is and you just let it unfold. But if you're trying to compare it to something or if you're trying to hold somebody to who they used to be, Whatever it is, you need to release these things, okay? Because comparison will only keep you in a feeling of lack. Like, it's not as good as this. I won't ever have this. You have to release that. That's awesome. I will try to do my best. <laughs> I'm not sure how, you know. I, uh... For the longest time, I only spoke Spanish, and then I had to take classes to learn how to speak English. So, I will do my best. <laughs> now, someone is stuck because of the comparison. Like, they keep compar comparing one situation to another. Or they're worried about this situation being the same as the last situation. Or if it's a relationship, you're worried that this person's going to do whatever the other person did to you or maybe you guys were together before and you guys had a bad ending and you're worried about that or maybe you're worried about them treating you how you treated them however this is resonating there's a reason this person is not acting because at some point they were acting very childish and they were operating at a very superficial level okay very superficial and a vengeful person this is the type of person you were dealing with or vice versa but there's no action moving right now. They're just watching you. So it seems like they're coming out of that space. So whatever it was that happened, don't hold them to the person that they were before. Okay? Because it looks like they have, they've been ascending and they've been recreating themselves and working on themselves. Okay? So they're becoming their higher self. And this could be someone you've known since childhood. Now, this person is watching you. Again, I tell you every fucking reading, I get the stalker card. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just there. I should just start with it. But somebody's watching you, and they're very admired by you, and they're admired by how far you've come in your life and what you've actually, how you've changed, you know? Because like I said, you have to hold space and allow people to be who they are. You can't always hold people to who they used to be. Because not everyone stays the same, you know, some people do, but other people change, okay, and there's someone that's coming to the realization of this, like, they're realizing this, like, they've been living in, um, like a box, like, they've only been seeing things one way, or they've been holding you to one, um, like, they've been holding you to your old self. Like, let's say if you were a shitty-ass person and you were miserable and made everybody else's life miserable, that's what they've been holding you to and not realizing that people can change and people do evolve and become better, all right? And for others of you, it's someone that is, like, they feel like they're very trapped in a situation and whatever it is, if they're with someone else, then this, like, um, the other person is, like, trying to get them to stay. They're not trying to let them leave. And it's causing like a wave of emotions. They're going, it's like they have the highest high and the lowest lows. So it's like when things are good, they're great. And when they're bad, they're really bad. And this person is very, they're aware of what's happening right now. Like they see what's going on. So don't think that they're getting over on anyone because they're not, okay? But they're saying that this is a time for healing. It's time to release these things, okay? You have to let go of the fear. And know that spirit is always with you, so you're always protected. Always, always, always. And whatever does happen that you feel is bad, is not bad. It's a lesson that you needed to learn that you yourself chose to learn in a certain manner. You know, you were like, hey, I need you to help me learn this lesson in this manner. And you chose somebody to teach you that. And now here we have, excuse me. Yeah, Spirit wants you guys to give in to the playfulness, okay? They want you to be more playful. They want you to enjoy life and have fun with life and try to see things from a new perspective. Try to see the beauty in the world and stop looking at it from this lower vibrational place of everything is terrible, all the people are terrible, and only negative and toxic things happen all the time because that's not true. And if some of you are more along the rebellious type where you just refuse to conform you know try to take a different perspective on things and try to see 
why conforming to an extent is acceptable okay i'm not gonna say conforming completely because yeah i have issues with the whole conform if you are informed and are knowledgeable then great but don't just conform because somebody's scaring you into conforming that's not okay so whoever this individual is you know it might be someone that is very rebellious that you're dealing with and they are not speaking right now and they're very fixated on you and they're it's showing that they're in a place where they're not confident enough to come and speak to you and they're <sighs> they have a lot of grief a lot of pain inside of them some of them are even very cold and they're self-medicating and all of this is happening right now and whatever it was that happened it's like they either receive some shocking news or something happened that is very shocking or is going to happen that's going to shock you because it looks like they're being guided to make you an offer but because of the level of pain that they're in right now it might be a few months before they make this offer to you all right so don't feel like it's never happening um and for some it's uh it has to do with the household like there's going to be some news or something that's going to happen with a household that you might receive you might get an offer for a house or someone is going to offer you their home to stay in. So however this is resonate, depending on what your situation is right now, some of you are being guided to either give this offer or accept this offer. But there is an offer in regards to a household that's coming up for you. Now there's some things that again, there has to do with court. So if you're going to court for a house or if you have child support, alimony, um, some government situations going on, there's something happening right now with that okay so all of that is working itself out and some of you have a gambling problem which you need to make sure that you're not overspending or doing too much or stop acting in the sense that's risky because a lot of this has to do with the past so some of you might be losing your home because you have a gambling addiction and you were living beyond your means others of you may be having to go to court because of things you've done in the past that you need to now balance out okay because again they're just showing me that someone has been pretending so maybe you're pretending to have more than you had or you were just whatever this is there's something that's going to work itself out so if you find yourself like you're going to be homeless or you feel like you're going to be homeless that's not what's going to happen okay they're showing that you're going to get assistance with the household situation and that might be the shocking offer because maybe the person that's going to offer this to you is someone you never expected it to be or someone you just like wow i can't believe they're still here for me okay so just be open to it okay i know life is fucking wild but they want you to be who you are and it's important especially when people try to hold you to a person you used to be that isn't there anymore or they're trying to make you seem like you're something you're not you know and i've had plenty of situations where i let them work themselves out because at the end of the day my character is going to show people who i am you know anybody could say whatever the fuck they want about me but until you actually get to know me you're not going to know who i am you're going to hear what people say about me some of it's true you know i'm not going to say it's not i was an asshole <laughs> but i'm not that person anymore so always stand in your truth and this is um aquarius is coming out um so yeah like i said the your angels are guiding you right now they're offering you the guidance so pay attention again to the signs especially if you're seeing animals or frequent numbers that are popping up um you know sometimes readings there'll be messages in that when they pop up on your timeline if they randomly come up and they draw your attention watch it see what they're trying to tell you because there's messages in everything okay now here we have some people are this is like a family situation some people need to spend time with their family and others of you need to clear um like family karma debt um so your karmic debt needs to be cleared and maybe just regular debts need to be cleared as well so however that's resonating for you but understand if there's been a familial situation where it's you haven't been present or vice versa like somebody's been absent it's time to balance the scales and either make yourself more available to this individual or step up to the plate and do what you feel is necessary to do and if you haven't been present and you've kind of missed out Spirit wants you to understand that it's okay to cry, okay? When you cry, it's like you're allowing 
your sadness to be free. You're allowing this to break free, okay? So let that out. Don't sit there and feel like you have to be tough and hold everything in because when you hold all of these emotions in, it creates blockages. And then it, the further we push it down, the more hostile we become. So you have to let these things go, okay? Because whatever it is, everything's coming up because it's a... Uh, I don't know. I think 2020 is just really balancing the scales and a lot of things and kind of balancing out the karma that's been going on. Now, for those of you that are really experiencing the final the financial issues and have like a lot of debt, everything is going to work out, okay? Just don't feel like, "Oh, I'm too poor or I'm going to be in debt forever or this is going to happen, that's going to happen." Don't think of it like that, okay? Because as soon as you start changing your perspective, then you're going to get the blessings and you're going to start seeing that that shift is going to work for you. And you're going to be like, wow, look at that. Money's going to start coming from random places. And I could speak on this because it's happened to me on multiple occasions where I'm getting checks in the mail and I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? But it's great because it's extra money that I didn't have. So don't feel like you can't afford anything because you can, you know, even if you have financial debt. The way I look at that is, <laughs> how important is it? If it's my household, then my house is getting paid. If it's a credit card, well, looks like you're asked out credit card because I don't need my credit card. I need my house. So if you're on it like that, see what's more important, what you really need to survive with. Pay those bills. The other ones, shit, maybe they'll take you to court. Maybe they won't. Eh. They'll get their money because at the end of the day, when they don't get their money from you, all they're going to do is write it off in their taxes and they still get their money back. So it's not really a loss. And then they sell the debt. It's a whole process. But don't feel like you owe, you have to do anything because they be full of shit and trying to scare you into doing shit that's not really going to do nothing. Um, Sorry, that was a tangent for somebody. <laughs> um, so yeah, but whatever this is, this family situation, it is going to come into harmony, okay? It is going to bring some level of peace back in. And they want you to count your blessings. They want you to be grateful for everything that has been going on and everything that has happened in your life, okay? And make sure that you're allowing yourself to be pushed past your limitations, okay? Don't just settle for, this is how I've always been, this is how things have always been, this is what it's always going to be, all right? Make sure that you are who you are and you're not just acting out of a place where you're searching or seeking respect from other people you know be who you are and if they respect you great and if people don't respect you then make sure you have that boundary to keep them out of your life because you don't need that shit nobody needs that shit and some of you like you need to go outside if you haven't been outside i know for the people that are in colder places people probably like nah i'm good go outside take a walk even if it's 10 minutes because it'll change your energy it'll make you feel better all right but definitely just be appreciative of everything you've been through the good and the bad and i always always say this because you can't fully appreciate life until you're grateful for the lessons you've learned you're grateful for all the hardships you've encountered the shitty people that you've met because at the end of the day all of these experiences made you who you are today they've shaped you into the person you are right now so be grateful for all of them you know i regret nothing you know i apologize to the people that i've hurt throughout the process because i don't ever want to hurt people but i do not regret anything i've ever done because that's who made me me you know it is what it is i'm sorry i hurt people but i learned i got better i grew as a person and some of them did and others of them just stayed stuck in their anger so you have to look at that because some of these emotions are very intense and there's some people that are keeping themselves very isolated because they feel so much emotion right now but this is whatever's going on is leading them to be more mature they're actually learning to appreciate and stand in their authenticity and see everything that's going on so have courage in whatever it is you have going on right now and believe that there is a new beginning that's coming, okay? Because the seed, when you plant a seed, it's this big. It's very tiny and you plant it in this, the darkness, okay? It's not planted out in the sunlight. It's in the darkness. And then it grows into this beautiful thing. So don't feel like your darkness is not serving a purpose because it is. And whatever, some of you feel like you have no power over your situation or what you have going on right now. And Spirit's saying that that's an illusion, okay? You always have power. Don't allow someone else to control you. Don't allow 
anyone to manipulate you or blackmail you into, hey, you need to do this, or I'm going to do that, or I'm going to say this, or whatever the fuck it is, because fuck it. Let them say whatever the fuck they want to say. Somebody's always going to have something negative to say about you, whether it's true or it's not true. Don't be so caught up on your image and your ego that that's keeping you in a place that you don't belong, okay? And some of you are overindulging, like you're just so self-indulgent right now because you're in so much pain and you're allowing this to consume you and that has a lot to do with your inner child, okay? You need to see where this pain is stemming from because they're showing right now that there's a lot of inner child healing and I'm gonna go out on the limb here and go with that it's um, growing up in a poverty mindset and a in a mindset of lack, Okay, and when you grow up in a mindset of lack, you continue to do that and you feel you spend a lot more time working and working and working and trying to get something as opposed to when you heal this and you allow life to flow that the blessings will just come and the abundance just comes to you with minimal effort. Okay, you don't have to put as much work in. So they're showing that what needs to be healed is that need for the material world, the need for more money. Like if you're chasing money. When will you be satisfied? Is there really ever a limit that you're going to be like, hey, I'm ready to stop and be satisfied at this? So, again, you have free will. And some of you are, uh, you're stuck. Like I said, some of you are being manipulated or someone is like pulling strings or like doing something to keep you in a situation where you're not supposed to be in. And there is someone that has a secret... Uh, social media profile someone that's watching someone that's stalking like there's somebody that is there that you may be aware of or not aware of but there's somebody that's like keeping an eye on you and they might just be like i, I want to say like puppeteering you know <laughs> i don't know how else to say it but it's like puppeteering because it's like you want to leave but they're not letting you leave but then you do want to leave and then they pull you back and it's just it's a fucking twisted game that they're playing with you right now and you feel like mentally you're in an imprisonment it's driving you fucking crazy and for some of you this is a twin flame situation where if you're trying to leave to go towards your twin this other individual is not letting you do that so they're playing games with you or they're finding ways to manipulate you into staying understand that you have free will okay you can walk away at any time and some of you will be having a meeting with this person like you guys are going to get up and meet to like you guys are going to get up and see each other at some point <laughs> I, i'm sorry if that sounds crazy but they want you to believe in the impossible so if you believe that this person's never going to forgive you this person's never going to come back to you they're showing me that it's possible, but you have to stand in your power. You have to exercise your free will. You have to be able to put your ego aside and stop letting people control you and manipulate you with their words or their actions, okay? You have to put all that to the side and say, you do what the fuck you're going to do because that's who you are and that's what you want to do. And what people do speaks more about their character than it does yours, okay? So people could say all the worst things about you, and at the end of the day, it speaks more about them than it does about you because if you're not like that, you're not speaking on that and you're letting them say whatever the fuck they want to say and you just keep living your life, people will see that you don't entertain the bullshit, you're not speaking negatively about anybody and this person is just coming from a place of anger and hostility and hatred or whatever the fuck. So just allow them to be who they are, let them do what they feel they need to do, that's it, that's their shit, that's their karma let it be okay but you have the free will and if you want to go towards your person then this is something that you need to actively start doing okay and get out of your headspace because people aren't going to wait forever for you okay they're saying right now you need to balance out what's going on in your life so it's the material world and the spiritual world you have to find the balance in the two you can't be all spiritual because we live in the 3d and you can't be all 3d because we are spiritual beings you know we didn't just fucking come here out of thin air so you have to get a balance on these two things and allow the healing to occur because when you heal this place of that pain that you have of lack from when you were a child everything's gonna work out better for you and stop letting stop giving your power away all right just really stop giving your power away to people and be accountable say you know what i got myself into this situation and I can get myself out of the situation. I went into this because maybe they were financially stable and they could give me something that I was lacking. Now I see that I am completely empty and there ain't shit here for me. 
and I'm ready to move forward. You have the free will. You have the right to change your mind. You have that right, okay? Don't feel like nobody can take that from you. Nobody. It doesn't matter. Somebody says, hey, do this or I'm going to kill you. It might not be great fucking options, but you have the fucking option. You know, it's, hey, I'm not going to do that and you're just going to have to fucking kill me. So, you know, you always have a choice. Don't feel like you don't have a choice. It might not be great choices. You might not even like the outcome of the fucking choice because somebody might fuck up your whole life. But understand, it all serves a purpose, okay? It all serves a purpose and there's lessons to be learned in all of these things. So don't allow these things to consume you and dictate the rest of your fucking life because you're going to be miserable and it's not worth it. It is not worth it. I'm sorry. I know from experience it's not worth it. Take control of your life and do what's best for you. All right? Those are your messages for today. I know I was on here really fucking late today, but my life doesn't stop. (laughs) It's exciting all the time. Um, I love you guys, and I'll try to be on here earlier tomorrow. I really will. But thank you guys. I hope this helps you in some way, you know. I like when it resonates. I don't like when it's a shitty story that I'm telling you, but you know, when it resonates, it tells me that the messages are accurate. And when I'm able to give you information on how to deal with these things and kind of go about it in a different manner than you're used to, it helps to expand and give consciousness to other people and show that there is some hope that this world can get fucking better and everybody isn't toxic and fucking evil. Okay, so thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you, Khaled. Have a good night. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.